Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I think I'm live right now. Oh, look, someone joined. Okay, I'm Eliza Coop, and uh, I am gonna be talking to Josh Hutcherson when he um, decides to bebop on. And uh, hi, okay, I've never done this before. I'm a real virgin to the whole live thing. There's gonna be a lot of noises that happen. I've got a weird pool thing going on out here. Oh, there he is, okay. How do I do this? View. Okay, going live. Jo Josh, I'm waiting for you. Okay, waiting for Josh. It's connecting. Hey! hey. hey. I, I thought I have to wear this, even though we're through a thingy, but you know. You probably should. Not. You probably well, should. Be careful. Um, what is that? What is that a bandana of? My brother got this for me. It's in like vintage shop. It's like a, a Harley. A Harley Davidson one. Oh, I'm so into that. Look at that black nail. Or did you bruise it? Did you get Oh no. I just been I've been painting my nails some. Why oh, not? Good for you. Look at that mustache. I know. I got a Wait, mustache. Wait, I love going. it. Yeah. I kinda have one coming in too. Yeah, my, my girlfriend had one, so I was like, you know what? Why not why Absolutely. not grow one myself? Yeah. I'm just growing mine out. Oh. I'm just gonna see what happens. I got this little nugget over oh, here passed out. Me. <laughs> oh my god i don't know where rex is he's just at the door um okay so I what, the, i've never done this before i've, I've never, never done, done this before either. i don't know this. what we're doing yeah and i've got wind chimes that are super haunting and creepy nice so those are going to be going off and then my sure. the thing that cleans my pool has a its own agenda so it just kind of like <laughs> just keep just off just the fucking ones it's a lot it's did, you, did, did they also send you an email telling you not to say anything that could get you in legal trouble? I literally, my, I literally got an email about this meeting, what? and it says, like, it says like, I can't look at it right now, but it says like, also this is probably a given, but don't say anything that could get you in any legal trouble or them in any legal trouble. And I was Wait. like, that's how I live my life. I, I just I get legal. legal oh things no, a hundred percent. Yeah, I was like, I, I do a hundred <laughs> illegal things a day. I'm like, I don't know. Like, Same here. Like, oh, is, I have no idea. I mean, I've got my right. emails now. I don't. I don't remember seeing that. I mean, I really skim those things. I really skim. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I thought you and I were being interviewed by somebody at that stage. I didn't know I, I was I, taking over the account. By the way, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know what was happening. I th I thought there'd be a third person here or some. Yeah. Like, omnipotent voice that was going to ask us I did too. I did too. but no but it's me I'm, not. I'm to ask you questions so oh jesus what um these are sample questions but we're going to go off of them let's go, let's go on the <laughs> let's just do the sample questions okay what was your favorite moment on the set of future man there were no favorite moments i hated every second of it oh, Next good. good 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 uh, I love that. favorite moment jesus yeah i, I don't mean, know either I'm going to also answer this question even though. Of course, you have to. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, look, favorite moment. It's, it's, I just love the crew. I love being with you and Derek and, like, all the guys, the whole team. It was just, it, it, every moment was my favorite moment. I know. It's, uh, you know, um, shit. What's your, what, was your, what was your favorite moment, Eliza? I mean, here's the thing. When um, the goat in this season finally liked you or, like, what? <laughs> no, you know what? Look, the goat and I, we really had a, that, that relationship with that goat was very symbolic of my relationships in life. <laughs> one, one directional? <laughs> yes. It was also like, I don't want to be near it, oh. but come here, come here, love me, love a lot, me. A lot of give, a lot of give, no get. Yeah. 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 But I think for me in, well, I would just say in, in this season, my favorite was doing all the tracking shit out in the woods. I just love oh, being yeah. in the woods out there. That night, though, I will say that night where Derek and Ariel played guitar and the fireflies were all going. Yeah, I don't think I was great. there for that moment, but I've heard about it and it sounds like it was nice. Right. You weren't there. No. The mosquitoes were there. The mosquitoes were fucking next there was, there was There's a lot of mosquitoes we were dealing with. But look I mean, at how great you look. Your mustache looks great. This is thanks. a good look. You know, here's the truth is, thank you, Eliza. Thank you for noticing. I, uh, I, in, this, in this quarantine that we're all living in, I, I'm eating a lot less food. I've oh, noticed. Same. And, and I'm, not, I'm not eating, like, I'm not going to restaurants, obviously, and I'm not right. ordering food. I'm just making food. Same. And because, like, when you make food, apparently you have to clean afterwards. 
I just don't want to do that multiple times a day. So oh like, I just, I, I cook one meal a day. And same. That's, it. that's all I, I do. I, the do. Same. I have like some fruit and some coffee. Oh and then God. like, I have one meal and that's it. Mm -hmm. And it's all, I'm, we're eating all, all plant-based. It's been like really good. Like you know, we've been having some dairy and I eat fish. Right. Um, but other than that, it's like, you know, all, all plant-based and really healthy. So no, that's been the same with me. We've been hiking a lot with the dogs and like every day we take them on a nice huge walk and up the hills and everything. Oh, so, you know, I love it. How's the new house? It's, it's good. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. It's coming together. I mean, I feel like in this, in this quarantine moment, I was expecting to get a lot more done. Um, yeah. and I, I haven't, yeah. I have not organized or cleaned in ways that I had dreamed. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. you know, I'm I'm okay with my with my faults and my flaws. Same. And uh, I'm just gonna like see where it all takes me. Me too. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna try this. too hard right now. I'm just I like, hear you know, are. We're all I, taking um, like a pause. So I moved into life. my new house like I don't know right before the quarantine. Mm -hmm. And you would think with all this time that I would have unpacked all the boxes. Oh but yeah. But I have not. They are all like my whole bedroom is still like now. It's like boxes that have clothes on them. Yeah, that's that's literally mine as well. And, I just haven't done it. Fun fact, my last house I lived in, I was there for eight years. When I went to move out, I still had a lot of stuff in boxes, so I it was really this. easy. Okay, good. Um, but now I just have those same boxes stacked yep. around my house that I yep. will maybe never open. Yeah. I should just, like, drop them off to someone and be like, I don't know what's in here. Well, I'm not the... legally responsible for whatever's in here, but now it's your problem. <laughs> See, I think that that's great because here's the thing. If we're not missing it, then it's just clutter, right? So yeah. if we don't want to put it out. Then 100%. It's just old memories we don't want to put into this new. new and I'm just worried. I'm worried if I start opening boxes, I'm going to be like, oh, I like, oh, I, oh, oh, I don't want to do that. No, I don't, I don't want to do that I either. I don't want to have more stuff that I need to figure out where to put and what to, no. what to do with it when it, no. I don't need it. Oh, my God. Look at his face right now. Oh, hello. Beautiful. Look at Rex. him. Rex, come here. You falling asleep? You bored about my Instagram live? Come here. We got Rex right here. Look at uh, this. Come here. Rex is in heat right now. So, um, ooh, fun. It's intense. <clears throat> um, That's fun. Is there is there any structure we're supposed to be doing with this? I yeah, genuinely I'm sorry. don't know. Yeah, yes. Okay. I'm so, looking, I'm looking at the comments. I, hi, Rachel. Someone said to say hi, Rachel. Okay. And oh, someone said this is much needed entertainment. That's fun. Oh, I guess we're entertaining them. Good. We're not following the rules. No, we're not following the rules. But we should, <laughs> since this is backstage, mm. we should talk about acting. So, um, here's a sample question: What advice would you give your younger self? Quit. No, <laughs> no, I think <laughs> no, when all else yeah. fails. Quit. Yeah. Um, hmm. I think like one thing that I've sort of realized just in the many years that I've been doing this crazy job is that, you know, you, you can have an expectation of what things are going to be and you can sort of have this idea of, of what you want to become or, or something. Mm -hmm. But the truth is like, once you get to that point, it, it's sort of like, okay, now what? So I've just kind of gotten to this place where it, it's just so much more for me about working with people that I love and enjoying the process than it is about achieving something. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm not much of a goal oriented. I don't think we've talked about this before. I'm not like, I don't set, I, I personally don't set any goals at all, mm -hmm. which uh, some people get very annoyed with me for saying, and no, but I, I, I don't because it's like, for me, once you achieve that goal, it's like, then what you like set another goal. Like, I just, I'd much rather just be at peace of mind of just on this path of acting and filmmaking and whatever, and just kind of, try to make the best decisions you can in the moment um, and not just don't get too worried about what other people want you to be. Oh. Um, that, that, that's where I, I got there. That, that, that is my advice. That I yeah. To my no, younger. that's good. I, I completely concur with that. That gave me a little chill because it's like the second you try to do it the way you think you're supposed to do it, you fucked. Yeah, completely. And in, in this job too, it's like, you know, you, you play PETA and Hunger Games one damn time, and all of a sudden, they want you to do stuff that's like almost the same always. And they like, you can put right. in a box. Once you do something that, they, that works, they yes. try to put you in this box, and then that's what you are. And, and to break out, it's really hard. Um, it is hard. And so I, I think for me, like, having the opportunity of future, man, and probably for you too, just because it was so weird and different, it, so was, different. it was really refreshing to get given an opportunity to do something that is outside of what you're known for and just outside of your comfort zone a lot. So I, I really I completely agree. When I did 
So when I did the show Happy Endings, mm -hmm. I came from New York and I, you know, being super East Coast, my tattoos and my like studded boots and everything. And I walked in and they wanted me to play like this, like housewife. And I ne I don't even know why mm -hmm. they wanted me for it. I love that they did, that they thought I could do it. But it was like, all of a sudden, I had to play that role. And then I started playing that role. And then I got typecast as this alpha dominant, very like, you know, perfect, like housewifey. And I'm like, no, 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 I, that was a role, but you do it once really good. Yeah. And then that's all you, that yeah, people yeah, yeah. think you can play. It's like, I, I didn't start that way. I was start. I was like a rocker from New York. I wasn't a rocker. Yeah. I was not in a band, but you get the point. <laughs> yeah, no, completely. That, it's, that is where the, I mean, I guess it's kind of that way with, with I guess any kind of, art form you know whatever it is mm -hmm. it's probably like and, and two i guess with with this job with movies and t television it really is such a such a mix of commerce and art that once something that you do works commercially and has success monetarily then mm -hmm. that's what they're like this formula works this formula works totally. that's probably the, probably the same for you know musicians i'm sure they have to deal with the same thing of like putting out an album but then wanting to do a different kind of sound but then you have to kind of do what you're known for so it's Mm -hmm. We're all screwed. We're all screwed. So what, what can we do? <laughs> well, we're not. Because here's the thing. We create our own reality. Yeah. So Completely. we all create our own reality. So we can change. And as actors, we're just natural ship shapers. Ship yeah. shape shifters. Shape -shapers. <laughs> we're ship shapers. We're ship shapers. There's a couple of ship shapers here. We're, we're shape shifters. <laughs> but we are. So we can change and transform and be whatever we want to be. But it's a matter of, it's the power of suggestion. So I'm actually Danny DeVito. Oh my God! Wow! Crazy. I, 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 I ship checked it into into this this other actor kid. I I'm feel like I was Danny DeVito's, DeVito's pumped right now because yeah. look at you. Yeah, <laughs> that sweet stash. One of my favorite quotes from a movie is "Sweet stash, man. Thanks, bro." And it's from Safe Men, and no one's seen that movie. Eliza, I haven't seen a lot of movies. Men. I haven't seen a lot of movies. I'm like the worst actor. Safe <laughs> Men is amazing because it's Paul Giamatti way back in the day. I love it's Paul Mark Giamatti. Ruffalo, Steve Zahn, Sam Rockwell. Oh, Jesus. Holy it's so shisha. It's fucking good. Wait, what's, this, what's it called? It's called Safe Men. It's Safe one of my favorite movies ever. It is so funny. Steve Safe Zahn and Sam Rockwell are fucking brilliant in it. And I've, seen, Sa I've seen Safe House with Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. I saw that movie too. That was a, I don't remember it. I remember that, of course, Ryan Reynolds was. I funny. mean, it was Denzel Washington being Denzel Washington, which is one of the greatest things, and yeah. Ryan Reynolds being a sexy stud of a man who's an action hero. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was. It was a really, really fun film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty good. Okay, it was so a really fun, really fun film. What's your uh, biggest audition horror story? Oh. Uh, I know that it happens every time I have an audition as a horror yes, story. Um, well, I had, well, I don't know, this is embarrassing. Uh, it, wasn't audi it wasn't an audition, it was a meeting that I had. Um, and I, I got it, it was like, probably I was 18, I think. And I got an email from my agents and they were like, hey, um, Guillermo del Toro wants to meet with you. He's making a short film in Cuba and he wants you to be the lead actor. And I was like, I have a lot of questions, but yes. <laughs> and so I went to meet with him, had like an hour long meeting and I was like super stoked. He was really strange and like this, not at all I expected. Um, and then afterwards I, but I, I loved meeting with him. And afterwards I called my agents and I was like, hey, that was like an amazing meeting with Guillermo and da da da. And they're like, you mean Benicio? No. And I was like, coming in? They're like, yeah, you, you had a meet with Benicio Del Toro. And Ooh. I was like, what? I was such an idiot, Eliza, that I literally sat down, had an entire meeting with what I thought was Guillermo del Toro. Stop it. And then it was Benicio del Toro. And I was like, uh, wait. Oh, this is odd. <laughs> and Benicio had like, he had like a hat and like a beard and all. So it could have, they're like both kind of bigger guys. Like, but I just didn't, didn't connect those dots. Um, my God, I ended up though doing the short film with Benicio and he's amazing. Uh, I still want to work with Guillermo. And then the, and then after I did that short film with him, I ended up doing the movie Paradise Lost right. with uh, Benicio as well. And that's where I met my girlfriend of now seven years Aww. from my meeting with Guillermo del Toro. Right. And amazing. That Wait, that yeah, is it was, that's <laughs> incredible. That was, that was real embarrassing. Benicio del Toro just looked I was like, I was like, why is Guillermo, A, why is Guillermo del Toro doing a short film? 
don't know. Right. B, why is he calling me to do it? It was just, it was a lot. But wait, that's so incredible. Ultimately, I think I just turned really red from that whole transaction. No, I love it. Um, embarrassing. What about you? Do you have like a, a horror story? No, but I did a mix up where I thought that Elizabeth Smart was Amy Smart. Amy Snow. A Elizabeth Smart was the girl who, wait, what's that girl's name who got kidnapped? Her name was also Smart. There's a lot of girls that get kidnapped, Eliza. No, but she was like really. I'm not going to get into that anyway. I kept calling her Elizabeth Smart. No, oh, no. Smart. Wait. Okay, so Amy, similar. Similar wait, to. Who's Elizabeth? Oh, Elizabeth Banks and Elizabeth Smart. That's what it was. You kept calling Elizabeth Banks Elizabeth Smart? Yeah. And she was. Elizabeth Smart was kidnapped. And, El and Elizabeth Banks is just like a, a, a great filmmaker, actress. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So okay, we each had like a, a real kind of a stupid mix up. Okay, wait. happy we can we can move past. Yeah. Oh. Um, wait, I feel like I just fucked something up. You, you, I mean, I still see you and hear you. Okay, great. Okay, um, what are the other sample questions? I think we should take questions from these these peeps because one person just like oh. way back that I just caught just said Kentucky, so they're pumped that you're from Kentucky. Oh yeah, I'm hey, from Kentucky. Hey, John Prime died. He's from Kentucky. Fun fact, not everyone from Kentucky knows everyone from Kentucky. But you know also, Derek. Also, Derek, Derek is from Kentucky. But you know Derek. And also, isn't uh, Jennifer Lawrence from Kentucky? Jennifer Lawrence is from Kentucky. Woody Harrelson is kind of from Kentucky. Um, the Cloonies, George and his whole clan, they're from Kentucky. <laughs> he has um, a clan? Yeah, he has a clan. It's crazy. Huh. Um, who else is from Kentucky? There's a lot of there's a lot of cool people from Kentucky. I'm not one of the cool people from Kentucky. Johnny Depp was a uh, was in Kentucky, a Kentucky guy. Okay. Hunter S. Thompson, I think was Ooh. from Kentucky. Nice. Okay. We got some. We got some. We got some people. I'm from New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Yeah. I want you to know that sitting like this, all I smell is my <laughs> armpit. It's what's not it, great. What's it, what's, it, what's it doing? Well, what we're working with, it's like a mix. It's like if you took like some essential oils and then put oh. them in between a rotten Subway sandwich. Oh. Yeah. And then put it in the glove compartment of an old, like an old sedan and just left it in the desert. Oh. Very vivid. It's a very vivid uh, uh, you're smell landscape that you're painting for us all. <laughs> Uh, uh, wait. What, how do you start acting career when you're a teenager who doesn't access to an agent? Oh, that's a fair question. Okay. Um, I mean, thank God the internet exists now, so people mm. can find ways to get contact people and and submit, you know, monologues or whatever. I personally started by getting out a phone book and calling an agency when I was nine. Did you? I just got a that's, chill. Really? That's what I did. Yeah, yeah, completely. And uh, they laughed. Um, Who's laughing now, motherfucker? No. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, thankfully, like my family got you know supported me. But yeah, I think I mean with the internet, it changes everything. You know, you you can reach out to agencies. I mean, I think watching a lot of great films for me is like the best kind of acting school in many ways. Um, yeah, I just saw that question in the in I the doohickey in the doohickey here. That's so good. And then people are saying, "I love you." Someone's laughing. A lot of, lot of faces with heart eyes. A lot of hearts. So many. Te amo. I know. I mean, ugh. Están hablando conmigo en español. Jo, me gusta muchísimo. Oh. So I'm, I'm learning German. Ah, ja. Ich habe yeah. meinen Bruder sprechen sie Deutsch. Das ist gut. Oh, I really know. It so. does is good. Well, I talked to Rex in German. That's true. She's a German shepherd after all. She is a German shepherd from Germany. So My uh, I... But I usually just say like good night to her in German and Guten Morgen and So you're really, really practicing. Really? I'm getting I'm <laughs> really, 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 really doing a deep deep yeah. dive. Yeah. Into the I'm fluent. Uh, I'm fluent. <laughs> basically. I can say like yeah. good night and like good morning. Like yeah. what else? Perfect. What else? what else do you need? Someone just said they were from Australia. I have a going. Oh hi, how how you guys doing over there? You guys but good over there? The problem is we like we slip into Aussie. I mean, uh, Kiwi real quick. Oh, it's super Kiwi. It's Aussie. like a Kiwi Aussie. It's a it's a, it's a real bastardization. It is, and their, then it takes uh, a turn towards South African for a second, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, <laughs> South African, yeah. It, it really it's, it slides all over the place. I know. I remember Derek 
would get so annoyed with us because oh, we would just go, so oh, yeah. Yeah. come on then, let's have a go at it. Yeah, like, no, I do it. Like go on, it. go on. He didn't like it at all. He'd be like, uh. Yeah. Oh, and there's someone from Ireland. Ireland. Oh. No, I'm not even going to do that. No, don't even try. No, I'm not even going to do but it. But here's my question. So Peaky Blinders is one of my favorite shows. Mm -hmm. They're Irish, aren't they? I have not seen Peaky Blinders. Fuck, you've got to watch Peaky Blinders. I know, I know, I know. I, I'm just I'm just re-watching Tiger King over and over. That's all I can do now. Okay, I can't watch that because I, I can't with the animals. I, I feel like they're, they, I don't want to see that with the animals. I mean, you can buy a tiger if you want. That's it. <laughs> but I am a tiger. Oh, uh -huh, I look at that. I could have done make a funny. Linus thing I could have said. <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's, yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually not watching it over. I, I, I can't, I'm, I'm like right now so unmotivated. I'm like me, watching a movie is like. I don't watch anything. I haven't watched anything. I did watch Unorthodox with un, Unorthodox. With I watched, friend. I watched a couple episodes of that. That girl is freaking incredible. She's amazing. Yeah. I feel like right now Netflix has like a real obsession with, with talking about that world. Like I feel like everything I'm flipping through is like a bunch of, of documentaries about that. It's 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 crazy. I don't want to get political and just no, like, we don't want to talk about, about too much. We're gonna get in trouble. We can't say yeah. anything. Can't say anything. <laughs> legally gonna... I, I think we've already both said multiple things that could get us in legal trouble, but for sure, for sure. Whatever. I talked about a kidnapped girl and thought that yeah. it was thanks. Yeah. Uh, We'll check in over here, see how this guy's doing. Check in over there. <laughs> I'll uh, he's doing just fine. Oh, what about this one? Oh, oh yeah. He's oh. Like, Wait. You know what's crazy it? about this one? I mean, I don't know if I told you before. This is Driver. And he, um, he when I, I rescued him when he was like eight weeks old. And you oh. can see this scar here. Yeah. And he just wakes up. And his missing middle toes, someone shot him. What the fuck? Someone Wait, shot him and left him, that? left him for dead. When he was like a six week old puppy. And uh, and my buddy who like works at dog rescues had always told me like, hey, you know, let me know whenever you're ready to adopt a dog. And so I was like, I called him one day randomly and he was on his way to the shelter to oh. pick him up because they were gonna put him down at the shelter because his medical bills were gonna be too expensive and, and everything. So he goes around to shelters, they're gonna put dogs down and <sighs> takes them in. Um, and, I, and I was like, oh yeah, I'd love to meet this dog. He's like, I'll, I'll bring him to your house right now. I'm going to pick him up. And I met him and he was just this little like, potato nugget of like gray skin and the happiest dog I had ever seen in my life running around with like a completely peeled sideways broken leg and they thought they're gonna have to amputate his leg and they were able to actually save it and uh and now he's like literally oh, the happiest gosh. dog I've ever met in my life and then this guy's real special he likes yeah. coming up with an iPhone cable don't you <laughs> charging him up there huh? wait how many do you have uh 14 you have 14 yeah. okay no, Wait, just just these two guys. Look at Rex right now. Can what's you she, see her? Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah, she's just under the table and yes. um just bleeding out because she's on her period. Oh, it's of fine. Uh, Wait, should we talk about acting or what? What? Do, yeah, let's what just say let's talk about acting and then we can probably wrap it up. I don't think we even have to go that much longer. Let's see. Huh? Um, I have no idea. What other things about acting? Um, we'll see. I was gonna, people always ask like, well, what's your process? But I mean, for me personally, my process isn't about, my process is the process before I get to work. It has nothing to, like once I'm on set, I'm pretty good. Cause I've done yeah. work. Like I, I learned once I, as long as I know all my lines, I feel like I'm pretty good. And I've read the, the script and everything, but like my morning routine is my process. And we all know my morning, well, you and I know my morning routine is very, I'm very, I'm up at 4 a.m. 3, 3, 340 this morning. And you just get yourself completely centered, meditate, do all that stuff. That's my process. That way yeah. I can get on set and I'm fucking grounded and centered and ready to go. And then I can take anything that comes to me. So yeah. what's, your, what's your process? That sounds very mentally and emotionally healthy. Um, <laughs> mine is to stress a bunch, not sleep at all, and just uh, drink coffee all day at work. That's Lovely. how I figure it out. No, I think, I mean, for me, it just, it really varies on the project, the character, so much that I don't have, I don't have like a set process that I always do. I think maybe my approach is similar with, or I have like a similar approach with all characters, but some characters and, and movies or shows need more attention than others. And, you know, for Future Man, a big part of it was trying to stay loose and trying to stay just like, our vibe on set was super, you know, fun and not very strict. And we had a lot of freedom. And, and for me, like doing comedy, which is something I've never done, 
uh, it was important to kind of let that feel loose. And then yeah. other stuff that I've done that maybe is a bit more dramatic or, or a character that is requires more work. It's just about focus. And it's about, I think doing, I think it's all like what you're saying, like doing the work beforehand and like really understanding who this character is, who this person is that you're trying to create. And, and for me, I've found myself a lot lately thinking about um, like their, their experience with their parents mm. and what, and how that shaped them. And that's sort of really, like, that's cool. like what, what's their relationship like with their mom and dad? Do they have a mom and dad? Are they like, like what is, you know, how was their upbringing? What was the, what was the, their parents' relationship? Like, I just trying to like build out these sort of things that I think are so key to understanding who we are as people in general is like these formative years of what you were kind of impressed upon that I've just been doing a lot of work, even like writing and stuff, thinking about what their family life was like at a young age. I think that's very big in, in, in impression on you. Well, it is, it's impactful because we are, for the most part, until we get to a certain age, we are the product and we're basically just like, it's been implants from other people's mm -hmm. ways of being, right? So we, the yeah. way we react to something or even our beliefs are really just from our surroundings. You are the environment you surround yourself with. Mm -hmm. You are the people you surround yourself with, which is why it's very important to surround yourself with people that have views that you believe in. And, and or or surround yourself with no people at all. That way that you are the only. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just dogs. And then yeah, they, just dogs. You know, that's the thing is I watch Rex and I see how she just, she's just free and lets everything fly and just bleeding out. I mean, I get it. I fucking get she's it. She's a free bleeder and she's happy and proud. And that's just, free you know, bleeder. I like she's that. She's naked. I like she's that. always naked. Yeah, so my dogs are always naked too. I, I always, whenever I take them for a walk, I put their collars on. As yeah. soon as I get home, boom, their shirts oh, are it's off. off. It's party it's time. Off. Yeah. Rex and I did a little skinny dip in the pool right before we did this. this oh. Show. She doesn't yeah, go in the pool. Me. She's got ears like this. Dogs that have ears like this don't go in pools. Dogs with ears like this, the water's not going to get in. Ears like this. Oh, my dogs, when they get in the pool, they literally dive under the water. I mean, and they they get water in their ears like crazy, but they they they, they really love it. They're like little they're like little pit bull fishes. Okay. Pity fish. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so let's just see if there's right. any questions. I don't know how to like scroll and see the Oh, there we go. I can scroll. Oh, people are asking who I am. Okay, go fuck yourselves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know who I am, great. What? The algo en español, Josh. They don't speak in Spanish. What do you think? I don't know. Am I in the fifth Hunger Games movie? Are they making a fifth Hunger Games? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's just on my iPhone at my house during quarantine. Oh. And it's because I can't Can get I to the be store. In so it? it's literally the Hunger Games. <laughs> Can I just be in that? Please? Yeah. I'm yeah. Uh, I'm I'm looking for work. So if anybody can uh, send me some um, in this feed, I'd love an offer for a job. That'd be great. Um, you too. Yeah. And uh, both of us, I think, are mm -hmm. you know we'd, we'd love to work again at some point. Yeah. I put an audition nice. on tape yesterday, and my wind chimes were fucking going off, and it sounds like uh, some, I thought it was a creepy, hauntingly brilliant. Touch. Well, yeah, I mean, it, that and then, was that. And then they cast Charlize Theron. Is that what ended up happening ultimately? What's that? They cast Charlize Theron. Is that what They happened? cast Charlize After Theron. That? Yeah, they're yeah, like, we chimes. loved, we loved Eliza, but those wind chimes. Let's go with Charlize. Let's go with Charlize. <laughs> I feel like that's the best choice. Yeah. Yeah, Clau, Clau had she had like a full-on director, actor, like workshop of a script these last couple of days. No. My internet just like I got, I don't know what to do. I'm going crazy with this internet shit. It's like. I have amazing speed, but then sometimes it'll just stop working. And it only stops working when you're in the middle of something that you need to be doing, not when you're watching like deep dive, dark YouTube holes. It's right. like when you're like in the middle of like a, I was, right. I was just a judge for a Tribeca Film Festival for a documentary. And, uh, and I had to watch six, we watched 16 documentaries over the course of two weeks. And then we like had to, like these de deliberations and talk with like the fellow jurors. And like in our final deliberation two days ago, my internet was just like cutting out the entire time. It's, I don't know. Internet's a mysterious thing. I'm a black hole of technology. I can't believe that my phone has been working this long without. Problems. I know. Well, so, it's not. My, everything's, yeah. everything's always happening for it. It's not just random. Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I, I won't say anything to get me into trouble. Don't die. Don't do a dive. Do not. 
Do not. No. I can talk about my dog's period, but don't talk about do the not body. talk about the meaning of the universe. <laughs> Whatever you do. <laughs> no. No. Uh, Shai right. well, I, I think those are all the questions. Let's see. There's, I mean, I, no, there's no more questions. I think that that's pretty much it. We could talk about, remember when I shaved my, the side of my. Oh, yeah. So this is Look coming. This is how long it's grown. That's a lot. It's a microphone. That's a lot of. Hi, I'm. Uh, I'd like to place an order, please. I'm looking for some Tupperware. Absolutely. Let me just put. Okay, I'm just gonna type on my computer. I don't have an account. Can I check out as a guest? I don't. Like Absolutely. Account. Okay, great. Absolutely. Whatever you um, need. I saw the. I saw that you guys had a a, a quarantine oh. dis. Oh, hello. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just. It I'm just gonna keep connected this for one second for a long time. Uh, <laughs> no, that's it. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll we'll put stop. that away. All right, so this was fun. Continue. This is great. I, I like this. This is a fun little format. I like this I, too. I, I like seeing your face and talking with you and, I know. and knowing that other people are watching our conversations a little weird, but also kind of cool. I know. I think I might have you come on to my, well, I'm going to do this next week and you're okay. going to come on to my page. You right? know what? Fun fact, I will be here and I oh. have nothing else that I can be doing. So I will just be sitting literally right here. Wait, you know what we could do? We should do an Instagram live while we're both on hikes, but so it'll be like we're hiking together. But the problem is, is that I feel very bad about that just because there's a lot of people who can't go out. I mean, I, every day I'm talking to people in Spain and they're not allowed to go into the streets at all. Damn you can't walk. You can't, you can't go for a run. No, no, no. So there's a lot, there's a lot of people that were very oh, fortunate to be in this situation and living in LA and having access to hikes and things. And I feel, I feel pretty shitty. Or um, we could show them the experience of it and they would just be able to live vicariously through us. We could do that. All right, or, we or I could sit on the toilet, toilet and take a shit while we... Let's, let's take shits. And All let's right, we're going to take shits together. It's going to be yes. great. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this is exactly what Backstage wanted us to talk about. Oh, no, it's true. This is what they warned me about in the email that I did. I've talked about my dog's period, and now we've talked about shitting. Hmm. Oh, God, they're not going to... They're not going to like us anymore. We talked. I, I gave some. We gave advice on acting. Yes. We talked about acting. We talked about yes. the show, and we're just trying to get some entertainment. We're yeah, trying we to bring some levity and some fun into these mm -hmm. crazy hard times. I hope yeah. they can appreciate appreciate that. Yeah. So, and also, we got your your stash in there. We got the stash in there. You got your stash in there. Yeah, my stash is coming in red hot right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Look yeah. at my fucking. Look at how long my finger is. You got some long fingers, man. A long finger. Okay, you know, that's well, good for picking out. Um, all right, I've got to share this to the store. I've got to share this to my story. I don't know how to do that. Okay. I don't know how to do that, but I think that's probably something you should have done when we started. Because I think it's finished now. Okay. Well, I'm going to figure it out. Um, oh, my God. Someone just put so many hearts and kisses. I'm Someone said that's that's nice. Somebody me. said that they don't care what we're talking about. They're just happy to see us. That's great. Oh, that's so sweet. Was that my mother who just wrote that? <laughs> Mom? Hey, mom, you here? Hey, mom, you, was that you just now? <laughs> you fucking on the internet? That's fun. All right. Well, uh, what's, what's my pit bull's name? They said it's important. Uh, the the smaller one is Manchi, and the bigger one is Driver. Those are the oh. dog names. I'm just replying to some people. Brazil flag. I love Brazil. Fooderman. Hey, hey, that's what you call me in the show. Say hi to your Kentucky fans. Hi, Kentucky fans. There you go. You nailed that. Love y'all. Um, Let's see what um, else we got. Argentina flags. Y'all need to save this live. Yeah, I, if I know how to do that, I don't know how to do any of these things. I don't know how to do any of this shit. I just, I just bought an iPhone for this. I didn't even have a phone. Why does that say American Man? Did you do a movie called American Man? What's American Man? I think it's a Bruce Springsteen song. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> see. Recommend something to read, please. Um, oh, I don't do that. I, uh, I, I've been reading a book. One of the four books I've read in my life. Where is it? I've started a lot. You can of tell books. I'm really, I'm really focusing on my reading. I can't even find a book. I know this one. It's been, it's been great. It's a hard book to get through, but uh, it's called Craft Kiln Operational Manual. Wow. It's how it's how to operate a craft kiln. I I've been just, getting. <laughs> it's got I just some pictures. Out while you're talking it's got about pictures and. <laughs> No, I've been uh, I've been reading this book uh, called The Real Life of Sebastian Knight uh, okay. by Vladimir Nabokov. Uh, 
it's it's a challenging read, but it's very entertaining and full of a lot of uh, beauty and pain and and mm -hmm. things. Vladimir is a real American name. Not Russian. Russian. Not but, Russian yeah. What else have I been doing? My, my my girlfriend painted this. Come on. Which is like like weird glare stuff. I love that. She's been like doing like a lot of great painting. She painted That's me the other cool. day. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Um, I've been trying not to let my plants die, but they've been fortunately. Yeah, I know. There's well, I mean, he's still kicking. I made him male. Kicking. You did what? I, I just made your plant male because I said he's still kicking. Oh. oh. Well, I have congratulations. Too. Now we know how they identify. Well, um, let's see. What am I reading? I don't read. I've got animal cards, animal medicine cards, and all my fucking weird voodoo shit. It's not voodoo. It's real deal shit. Anyway, we won't get into that either. <laughs> Um, another time, another place. Not that's here, right. not now. Okay, you press save after the live ends. Ooh, thank you. Who just said that? Oh. Holly, Hollywood Six Miranda. Thank you. Nice. But where's, but where is save? <laughs> it says mm. after it ends. Press save. Someone said favorite monologue. What do you? Um, oh, my favorite monologue is from a play called Big and Little by Lottie Cotty. And if anybody oh, knows, like, this play Big and Little. It is so fucking good. I think it's by Botho Strauss. I could be wrong. You can tell me I'm wrong, but that play Big and Little is a great play. Derek said it wasn't that great, but I think it's great. Well, then you're right. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, that's my favorite. Um, okay, I have to go. I, I got to go, too. I got to pee. Direction. Okay. I don't lie. And then Love try to God. save this. I don't know how you do it, but good luck. Okay. All right. Mwah. Bye. Bye. How do I end it? Oh, there end. Yeah. Leave. Stop <laughs> sharing video with viewers and backstage cast. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> I'm ending it.